differences in size are often described as differences in the order of magnitude. This allows us to compare very large and very small numbers to each other. For example, how much larger is the diameter of the Earth compared to a marble? From taking various measurements, we know that the Earth's diameter is 12,742 kilometers. A marble's diameter is 0.000013 kilometers. To find out how many times larger the Earth is compared to the marble, all we need to do is simply divide its diameter by the marble's diameter. By doing this, we find out that the Earth is 980,153,846 times larger than a marble. Now clearly, this number isn't very easy to say or communicate. Luckily, you don't have to remember any of these numbers for the exam, they're just examples, but how can we make this easier? When we compare the sizes of two objects like this, the actual lengths can be estimated because it's the relative difference that we're more interested in. We can round up the diameter of the Earth to the nearest 1,000 kilometers to give us a value of 13,000 kilometers. Let's do this division again with this new value. So if we run this through a calculator, we end up finding out that the Earth is 1 billion times larger than a marble. Using estimates like this is something that we do naturally all the time. How do we define order of magnitude? The order of magnitude of a number is the number of powers of 10 contained in the number. So differences in the order of magnitude are calculated in factors of 10. For example, we would say something is 10 times bigger or 100 times smaller. For example, the number 10 has one order of magnitude. It has one power of 10 contained within it. 100 has two orders of magnitude. It's equal to 10 times 10. And 1000 has three orders of magnitude. It contains three powers of 10. If you increase or decrease a number by one order of magnitude, you multiply or divide the number by 10. So how do we make order of magnitude calculations when using standard form? We can compare orders of magnitude using standard form. The width of a human hair is approximately 100 micrometers and the width of HIV is 100 nanometers. What is the difference in order of magnitude for a human hair and HIV? So step one, work out how many powers of 10 there are for each of the measurements. So we note that the width of a human hair is 100 micrometers. To be able to compare this to HIV, we have to convert the numbers into powers of 10. 100 micrometers is equal to 10 to the power of minus 4 meters. HIV is 100 nanometers, which is equal to 10 to the power of minus 7 meters. These powers of 10 are the orders of magnitude. Step 2. Divide the powers of 10 to work out the difference in the orders of magnitude. If we divide these two values, we get 10 to the power of 3. Remember that when you divide powers such as 10 to the power of minus 4 divided by 10 to the power of minus 7, you minus them from each other. So we're going to do minus 4 minus minus 7, which equals 3. Bear in mind that two minuses in a simple equation like this make a plus, so this equals positive 3. So this gives us a difference of three orders of magnitude between the width of HIV and the width of a human hair. This also means that the human hair is 1000 times bigger than an HIV particle. This is because 10 to the power of 3 is equal to 1000. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE Biology course. See you there.